after which we go on a music break and we start calling our regulars. Show some love, give it up for Chime Francis. Make some noise. Encourage you guys. Chime Francis. So <laughs> How many rock stars? <laughs> All right. Um, okay, good evening, everybody. Well, I'm not here to impress you guys. Um, I'm not really passionate about the job. Relax now, relax. Relax. I don't say, you know, they look me now like others. But me, I'm good. If I'm not funny here, next week I'll come. I'll be funny. Uh, so, so, my name is Chime Francis. I'm one of the finest comedians, facially, career wise, I find. But there's something about comedy I don't like. People don't really take comedy as serious. Like, I used to have this female friend, Amaka. Maybe because her name is Amaka, that's why she disappointed me. We have been friends for long, you know. We don't date like, we don't be friends for like 10 years. So when I come meet and see Amaka, see, the way this thing is going, I would like us to take it to another level, you know, probably marriage. And you get look at me. Stop it, Joe. You, you that will see my wedding. I beg you. Serious work zone. Serious work zone, and you get put me up. Say, you MC my wedding, Joe. You that are very funny. The craziest one that happened, one of my colleagues wanted to get married to an Imo girl. So, since I'm from Imo State, said, let me go with him. So, we went there, went to Imo State. So, we go to the girl's house. The papa did late. So, it was just the mother that was there. So, she was on this side of the couch. Me and the fellow colleague did this side. Best we want one married daughter. 14 minutes, this woman don't talk one word. She just said, look the guy. They look the guy. I mean, I got the feel uneasy. I think they saw. So from nowhere, the woman just looked the guy and said, you, what do you do for a living? The guy boldly stand up. Say, I'm a stand-up comedian. The woman say, stand up and leave. That's all. So. Oh, wow. These distractions. You know, this is the only period in my life that I'm glad that I don't have money. Brother, you know, say if you don't get money now, now you get peace of mind. Because you know, if you follow people go queue for bank, you don't get money for account. So, guys, I stay in Bariga. Yeah? On a Zobos Club. Why? Yes. It is easy to cross this third Milan Bridge. You know, people don't die there. Bariga is a very fun place. Like I used to tell people that when you go to Bariga, when you go to Bariga, the amount of churches you find in Bariga, if they decide to they give each household church, you go get three. Churches are so much. In fact, if you take inside your house, you go hear preaching from three different churches. Preaching will come mix. You can't hear something like, and Jesus repented from his sins. You go say, what did they hear? And every eventful period at Bariga, every eventful period, something weird must happen. On Salah day now, we just deal for Salah. Person run, run, enter church for safety. <laughs> now, pastor see the ram say, wow, the prodigal son is back. Uh, the killer trouble. You guys, I'm a Catholic, so on Easter, this Easter, they do passion play. Drama, you know now. So, we they do passion play now. So, who can they ask Jesus? For cross, break on the stand. He was standing on the cross. When the road to a con shock, say, what is what is wrong with Victor? Why is my call and say after the play, say, brother, what is the problem? He say, Oh more. Say when Veronica they wipe his face, it clothes she wear, they said use them. <laughs> Crazy place. So, like I, I went to this uh, this place now. I was they didn't name my press. They carry me go where I go go. See the place, see that convenience. In fact, it was convenient. Brother, if you go to Bariga, hmm, if you enter a restaurant, one guy now, they press, they, everything, shit won't fall out. The guy reach there, now the guy say, please, where is your toilet? The guy say, wait, you did flush. This guy got the answer, say, what do you mean by that? Tell us more, no, the one we go show you. <laughs> that is the only place they have camera. Inside restroom. You they shout, go Bariga now. Camera day. Ah, the guys, but what camera day is there? More people know they too flush. So with the mamak. With the mamak. Now there's no cash anywhere. POS people now, they're very excited. Excess money. 
Brother, you don't borrow money from, from you don't borrow money before. You never borrow before. Wow. Okay, they borrow from people. But if you don't, like, I feel like these people know, when you borrow money, these people know what you are doing for a living. And they don't really take comedy as serious, like I said. I don't call, I don't call loan art before. You know, when you go to Marina, you see something on the billboard. Say, borrow one million in five minutes. I go, they say, I'm so fast. I know I can't call the code, say hello. Say, my name is Jimmy Francis, I want to borrow one million. I need to get laugh. <laughs> I said, I want you laughing. Stop it, Joe, you'll not be bad. <laughs> Thank you very much, my name is Jimmy Francis. Make some noise, give it up for Jimmy Francis. Yeah.